Hey guys, what's up? It's Dan Weimer here, CEO of Morpheus Network. Uh, another quick video for you guys. Uh, it's right before Christmas when I'm recording this. I don't know when it's going to be edited down and released, uh, but I do want to wish everybody a super amazing, happy, healthy uh, holiday season. So um, without further ado, I thought I'd go through the recent AMA questions, get us all caught up uh, for 2019, uh, and then push ahead for an amazing year in 2020. So uh, let's take a look. Uh, what's the plan stats regarding plug and play? Uh, I, I love these questions because I, I think back to, you know, when I was in plug and play um, uh, at the actual event, uh, you know, earlier in the year, it was so fantastic there. Silicon Valley is just like a magical place. Uh, you feel all the you know, entrepreneurship of all those different companies working together, the startups uh, like us as well, as well as all those corporates uh, who see the, you know, the benefits of all these amazing new technologies and that's why they're there. Um, so yes, you know, we haven't been shy. Uh, and announcing, you know, pilot projects and, and various partners and clients and so on and so forth. Uh, and as as those sort of like announcements uh, fall into place that we can announce them, we definitely will. So uh, definitely stay tuned. Uh, always news coming up, guys. You guys know that. So uh, will the team in 2020 uh, liquidity off of morph tokens? Uh, Dan had mentioned uh, more DEX, uh, not asking KuCoin or Binance, etc. Um, yeah, we always have our eye open on exchange. I don't know if you guys uh, noticed, but we are uh, actually listed on uh, Bittrex uh, Global as well. Um, and it was Bittrex International and Bittrex Global. So uh, excited about that. Uh, it's been a busy 2019 uh, and we definitely have our eye open uh, and you know, taking a look at all the different you know, uh, decentralized exchanges as well. So uh, thank you for that question. Um, now, another question here. This is about the fraud prevention code development SAP in particular. Uh, yeah, I'm very excited about that. In 2020, uh, it's coming year is going to have a ton of updates uh, regarding that fraud prevention system with SAP. Uh, we're going to have a detailed announcement. Uh, you know, it might even be this year still in 2019 or beginning 2020 uh, regarding uh, that specific fraud prevention system uh, and the code development with SAP. So we're very excited about that. Uh, working with uh, you know the guys at SAP has been fantastic. Uh, Carl McDermott is actually taking the lead uh, for for Morpheus Network on that as well. He's been the point man with SAP. Uh, he's done a spectacular job. So um, great question as well, and you know definitely look forward to a lot more uh, advancements and announcements on that uh, in the coming year too. So um, we create a master new pool for small holders. Um, as we can announce uh, details of master nodes as they are needed. Uh, we have stated in the past that at a million transactions per day that masters will be needed. Uh, at that point, uh, we can discuss a little bit further uh, about pools and things like that. So uh, the next question here, uh, what will be the utility of the Morpheus token in the master nodes? Um, project to scale up and strain community technology. Okay, um, great question. And I feel like we've covered this uh, a couple times. Uh, and, and I love this question when it comes to uh, distributed ledgers and, and why, why blockchain in general, you know what I'm saying? So uh, you look at what uh, the Morpheus platform does, what do we do, right? Uh, aside from the, the payment system and talking about the, you know, the, the uh, percentage of that payment that you know, we get as fees as well, uh, let's talk about the actual uh, workflow and the workflow, the workflow, workflow processes. Uh, so as processes complete through a supply chain, uh, so you know, let's say it's uh, the generation of, of compliance documentation. Uh, let's say it's a handling point with a simple QR scan or an RFID scan. Uh, let's say it's the delivery uh, of a shipment itself. Uh, let's say it's the, the temperature, uh, you know, based on the sensor from an IoT device following this uh, package or shipment or pallet or whatever it is, all the way down the supply chain. All that information uh, that is essential to be validated, how do you trust that information? Uh, and that's where uh, the transfer of our token comes into play. Uh, so based on uh, you know, the volume of usage of the platform, based on the, you know, the, the complexity as well of the workflows uh, and the different functionalities that companies are using, uh, that's how we're pricing out these SaaS-based fees. Uh, software as a service, right? As a service providing these companies. Uh, if they need document generation, then fantastic. That's built into their fees as well. Uh, if they need something like an IoT device, uh, then yes, it is a higher fee uh, than just generating simple documents. Uh, if they needed something like Ocean, uh, you know, Ocean Bill of Lading, I just set up by the platform as well. Uh, there's a different fee set up through a third party provider, uh, integrated to the platform. Uh, so once again, we do have to set this up with the third party providers. Uh, same with the IoT devices. We're working with, uh, you know, Hanha on that parcel live device. 
Uh, we're working with GeoTab as well. We're getting the actual telematics devices to provide the data to be actionable through the platform. Uh, and you know, there's a SaaS fee uh, involved, and a part of that SaaS fee will actually be the fee to get the device in the first place. So. Um, going back to the, the functionality of the actual token, uh, so as these you know, processes are completed, each one of these processes within the workflow, uh, there is the transfer of the token which validates the fact that that process went through. Uh, so you know, let's say someone, for example, uh, scans a QR uh, and our, our QR code system gets the latitude and longitude of a specific scanner. Um, and someone can look up you know, in the future that latitude and longitude and say, wow, this is the exact point that this QR code was scanned. We know this for a fact. And how do we know that it wasn't manipulated? How do we know that that data wasn't altered in some way? And, and you know, an altered change of latitude and longitude. So you're actually scanning at this location, not that location. Just change the database. You can't do that in the transfer of the token. That's where it's written, and the validation of that complete of the completion of that process is validated using distributed ledger technology, which is stored on all these different computers of the network. So you'd have to infiltrate the entire network uh, in order to change the validation of the fact that a process such as a you know a latitude and longitude the place that that person scanned was recorded. So that's why it's essential to have those tokens transfer on the back end to, in order to validate all these different processes. Uh, yes, there's other functionalities involved. Uh, you know, when we're doing something, let's say like a, like a payment system, uh, we see that you, know, you guys have seen demonstrations using uh, BNB, uh, you've seen the demonstration with LTC as well. Um, you know, we've done some Tron uh, transfers as well, uh, Stellar. Uh, we've used a ton of different technologies for the transfer of funds, uh, even Bitcoin, for example. Uh, that's different than validating the fact that those transfers took place. Uh, so that's where the, the token, the utility of the token comes through. Um, so great question though, great question. I, I, hopefully I covered it. Uh, I could go into more detail about specific supply chain processes and, uh, and you know, the validation that you'd have to show for those processes. But, um, but yes, uh, hopefully I answered the question. So uh, next question, would you be interested in joining forces with another supply chain project uh, by sharing the use of the centralized blockchain? True value of the Morpheus token. Well, this is right from the ship chain team. Okay, fantastic. Yeah, um, most definitely. You know, it's you know we've definitely worked with and collaborated with with a ton of other you know blockchain projects. Uh, when it comes to supply chain projects specifically, talking about you know the uh, amount of uh, processes, uh, sorry, the um, uh, transactions per second achieved and all that. That's fantastic. Uh, but it always goes based on, on the clients, right? So um, ship chain. I, I don't know who sent this question off and. Uh, I, I personally know Lee, John, Sam, like I, I know the ship chain guys. So uh, if there's ever a project that they want to collaborate on, they can just contact me directly, right? They don't have to go through a, a Reddit AMA, most definitely. They can just write to me. So I don't even know who sent this message off, but yeah, we've definitely collaborated with projects in the past, not against you know, collaborating with ship chain. Obviously we have a, a, you know, a really friendly relationship, a personal relationship as well. Uh, so most definitely, uh, you know, if, if they do have a project they want to approach us on, want our help, let's say, with, you know, any sort of consultancy, mapping out processes, setting up workflows, automating, and hashing on the back end, uh, you know, most definitely, I, we, we definitely look into that. But, it, yeah, you know, I think ShipChain and the guys, ShipChain, John and, and Sam and those guys would definitely agree that it, it is client specific, right? So a client, uh, let's say that they need help with or a client that we need help with, that we can help each other. That's sort of how that would be pushed forward. So uh, great question, though, for sure. Um, and yeah, I think that's basically it. That is basically it. So if anyone has any more AMA questions, I love these to be honest, because uh, you know, really you know, in a sense, you know, validates the fact that people are paying attention to what we're doing. Uh, and I can give you these amazing updates as well. So I uh, look forward to giving you guys a whole slew of announcements that are coming up. Uh, we've saved up some really good announcements, working with some amazing projects. Uh, and yeah, if anyone wants to contact me directly, if I didn't answer any of these questions properly or exactly uh, you know, how you wanted to hear the answer necessarily, um, you know, definitely reach out to me directly. Uh, I, I do misinterpret questions sometimes, I will admit that. So uh, you can always email me directly, dan at morpheus.network. Uh, and once again, I know it's the holiday season, guys. So I've said this before, everyone stay healthy, stay happy, life is great. Uh, if there's anything they want to say to me directly, email me directly. I get back to everybody. So once again, everybody, happy holidays. Definitely talk to you guys soon.